right, well, good afternoon to you. Welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy, here for another Tuesday edition of Shaving with Fuzzy. So we have work tonight, which is uh, not so unusual. He's going to get shaved up. So it's Tuesday. You know, used to we did the back Tuesday all the time. So uh, why not? Let's get back to the bucket of German goodness there, the good old tobacco. If we're going to use tobacco, as usual, we're going to pull out the Clubman Musk here just because they're just really nice. And we're going to work it up with a big old bore brush. A uh, good old JR 176 there with the Omega. Okay, I'll be back with you in just a few. So, uh, there we go. That's going to what we're going to use. Now, for a razor today, we're going to... Uh, oh, come on. Don't be so hard to go with we're going to show you with a box. No, we're not going to show you with a box. We're going to show you what's in the box. So this is the gems. You can see it written down there on the corner. And uh, actually, you know, this is one of those that get shuffled to the bottom of the pile a lot of times. And I have to go back and get it. But it's a clog proof. Micromatic clog proof. And uh, this particular set came with the, the cardboard blade box. And there's still a few of the old blades in there and stuff like that. And the clog proof. So it's got a... Uh, Power Super Blade already in it, and the blade looks good, so we're going to give it a go. Apparently last time when I put it up, I just left the blade in it after I dried everything out. Not really a normal thing to do. I don't normally leave blades and stuff, but then again, here lately, I found a couple of razors that still have blades in them, so maybe I normally do. I don't know. Alrighty then, so we're getting our little bit of a chilly weather down here. I know it's not as bad as some of you folks up north. But uh gonna be down a little below freezing tonight. We got a little rain came through early this morning while I was at work. Nothing spectacular and it quit before I had to get out in it. So uh I didn't have to get wet, just a little chilly. That's alright. But uh, for you folks that have worked in plants before or know the plant world, we're getting ready to start a very big turnaround and uh, I'm not sure once we get started it's supposed to be next week I'm not sure how many videos I'm gonna be able to make but don't worry if I disappear for a little while or whatnot I'll be back around just uh, once the turnaround starts it's gonna be rough finding time to do things all right so we do what we always do. We wiped our face off. And with a shave stick, you just kind of wet the end of the shave stick and rub you some soap on. And then you start working with a damp brush. If your brush is really wet, you're going to sling stuff all over the place. And as fun as that sounds, it's only fun if you got somebody else to clean it up. But I ain't got nobody else to clean it up. I'd have to clean it up myself. But, uh. Even when I was married, I would have had to clean it up myself. So, anyway, there you go. I tell you what, good old bucket of German goodness here. Whole bathroom smells like tobacco. Now, it's a floral scent. It is not the tobacco, cigar, pipe tobacco type scent. No matter what some people will tell you. Really not. I smoke a fair amount of cigars and spend a fair amount of time in cigar stores when I can. This ain't what it is. All right, we're going to add a little bit more water. You can do that face lather. You know that? You can actually add water to your lather to adjust it, even though you're not using a, you know, your favorite cereal bowl or something. Isn't that the most amazing thing you've ever heard? Just amazing. All right, with a clock proof. Now... Clock proof are like all the other micromatics. Run them flat on the face and you'll do good. And, you know, I know some people adjust that, and that's fine. But that's a very good starting point. And for me, it's a very good midpoint and a very good end point because that's what I do. I run them flat. Right there, that's just about as flat as it can get. Runs right down the face there. It's just a regular old day's growth of work. For after work, before work. There we go. Look at that. No hoodoo, no voodoo. 
And the neat thing about the clock proof is it's like all the other Micromatics. Things built like a Russian tank. And uh, what was the Russian tank during World War II when they were the siege of, uh, let's see, it's St. Peter, uh, Stalingrad, I think it is. Help me with my history. The T-34? Yeah, this thing's built like a Russian tank. If you're going somewhere where you need tough equipment and something that can get banged around and you won't have to worry about pick you up a clog proof. Or the original, the Micromatic are great for that too. But the clog proof is really nice. It's got a, it's not an open comb as you can see, you know, it's got the solid bar. And I'm not sure about the whole clog proof name. I, I haven't been able to pretty much clog any of them up. I don't know what made the clog proof special, whether it was just a marketing thing, but they pretty much took the open comb version, the Micromatic, and they made it a closed comb and called it the, that's the difference I see in them. They feel the same to me, they shave, shave the same. There's an argument, not an argument, there's a discussion going on about whether the weight of the heavier razors help with the shave. It doesn't. Some people think it does. Some people think a lot of things. You yeah. know. I was going to try to get a shot at Ordinary Shaver in on that. I really was. And I couldn't come up with anything quick enough. You know. Sometimes it's that way. Maybe I hadn't had enough coffee this morning. Maybe that's the problem. But it's afternoon. It's my morning. Y'all's afternoon probably. But uh, maybe I hadn't had enough cafe but still up. Ordinary shaver, I owe you one. So I also have noticed, and if you read uh, the comment section of some of my videos, that there is a local feller who's from over at Homa. Now Homa's not too far away from here, down on the bayou. Some of the best people in the world I know are from down the bayou. And uh, he's hooking me up with one of the modern single-edge razors. Now I haven't bought a modern single-edge razor and with the exception of shaving with the one that uh, Tom White made some of his inventions I haven't shaved with any of the modern stuff so it's gonna be a bit of an adventure we're gonna see what we get I'm gonna give it a fair go and hey Michael I appreciate you buddy I appreciate you sometime when you're in town I'll buy the coffee Shucks, we'll go to Po' Boy Express. I'll buy the Po' Boy. All right. Well, while we've been sitting there yakking, got a good shave going on here. Let's get this clean, though. Well, you know, I get to talking, and the shave goes on autopilot, and sometimes I look back and say, hmm. So I bet you this time, while I'm sitting here talking, I didn't do a true across the grain everywhere. And, uh, you know, sometimes it happens that way. You just kind of go with what feels good at the moment. Uh, you know, there's no laws here. We're not, you know, has nothing to do with Congress. They can't regulate this. So if you change things up and you go a different direction or you take an extra crossway swipe somewhere or an extra with the grain swipe somewhere or something like that, it's okay. I'm going to send the shave police out to you. That's the neat thing about shaving. It's a personal experience. Now, that being said, <laughs> I do occasionally poke fun at people's personal preferences when it comes to shaving. Well, what am I talking about? I always poke fun at people's personal preferences when they shave it. Uh, you know, the buttercream crowd and the bowl lather crowd. And don't get me started on the blooming crowd. Don't get me started. But uh, it's all preference, personal preference type stuff. Now, you'll notice that while I've been sitting here yakking, these are just great racers, really. I'm, of course, as everybody who's around me for more than a few minutes knows, I am a fan of the ladder catchers. But somewhere after the ladder catchers, these things that got the, the, the micromatic and the clog proof, and even the, uh, you know, even the bullet tip, which is kind of the, 
you know, unpopular stepbrother of the group for some reason. They, uh, they just do such a good job. They're not hard to get. They're not really expensive to get. They're built like tanks. They're going to last. And they're twist open, which is kind of neat anyway. I'm not quite finished with the shave. I will get back to you. All righty. So that's one call, one text if anybody's keeping, keeping score. But there we go. Look at that shave. You know. Come out pretty good. Come out better than pretty good. Come out real good. Good shave starts a good night at work. I'm telling you. See, y'all remember, if you don't see me around a whole lot next week and the week after, I think we're the turnaround supposed to last 28 days. And uh, that means there's extra parking, so there's, there will be extra security people around, and that keeps the supervisors extra busy. So there we go. That's what's going on in my world. What's going on in your world? How you doing? What's happening? How's life treating you? Doesn't treat me at all. I get to pay for everything. You know, just how it goes. All right. Well, I wish you were me right now. Because I've got a good shave. Everything feels good around the goatee there. Got me some Clubman musk on. This stuff is really, really, really high class. You know, in the Redneck book, that's high class stuff. How you like it? I like it a lot. Okay, time for me to go and answer a phone call and a text and then get a shower, get cleaned up, and then we're going to be getting ready for work. Again, Michael, I appreciate you. Thank you for all you're doing there. I'll give that old razor a try, and we'll see what we think about it. Probably going to be okay, though. Finish up that old cup of coffee there. So y'all have a great day. I'm going to go do my thing. You go do your thing, and, uh, you know, our people will get together, and we'll do lunch sometime. How's that? Y'all take it easy, and remember, you know, happy shades to you.